What's going on everybody? Gem Mint here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at every Wolverine statue ever made, but to make sure this video isn't crazy long, we're going to talk about quarter scale and above, except for some exceptions, and we're going to talk about licensed pieces, mainly because there's a million custom Wolverine statues and there's no way I would be able to track down every single one. I used to do videos like this back in the day, like every Wolverine Omnibus release so far. And actually, I think after this video, I'm going to record an update to that one next. Before we get into it, though, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and let's start off with a company that I would have sworn was a custom statue company until I found out that they were actually licensed, and they're called Iron Kite Studios. They've made two Wolverine statues, one of them being this Age of Apocalypse quarter scale Wolverine. This one looks crazy, man. Again, I would have thought it was a custom. It's got the great paint scheme with that blue costume, the blasted off arm from Cyclops during that storyline on that futuristic robotic base. Love the long feral hair as it's blowing in the wind. It's got the tinge of blue in the hair as well. And that portrait with the snarling face. Definitely a cool statue from Iron Kite as well as their life-size bust. This one looks incredible, man. Not only is it a bust, but it has his left arm with the claws retracted. The skin detail is crazy. The wounds in his forearm and on his shoulder. You've got the tattered shirt and that wild hair. An awesome life-size bust from Iron Kite Studios. Moving on to a little bit more familiar territory, another iron company. We've got Iron Studios who made a couple of Wolverine pieces as well. Wolverine quarter scale, I believe they call legacy replica of Wolverine in the blue and yellow busting out of the Weapon X chamber. This is a quarter scale piece and I remember at the time it getting a lot of flack for not really making sense. He really wouldn't be busting out of that chamber in that uniform. He would have been in the Weapon X garb like you see on my t-shirt and like we'll see in just a moment here. It was an okay looking statue. I've never owned it or seen it in person. I do remember it had a pretty good price point though. They did actually make a Weapon X statue with that same base and I believe you were able to display it in two different areas. One of them sitting inside the chamber like he is now and one of them where his left foot was on the floor and his back right foot was on the base. This one makes a lot more sense. It's a very good Weapon X statue. It came out around the time of the XM Studios one, which we'll take a look at later. And there was a big quality difference, but also a big price point difference. I think this one was good more for the more affordable quarter scale piece. Now I wanted to limit this to just quarter scale and above, but there are a couple of dioramas that I wanted to mention. From Iron Studios, we have Wolverine vs. Juggernaut. This one I never got a chance to see in person. I don't think so, unless it was at a Comic-Con. I thought this was a great piece. I just never pulled the trigger on it. You have a big, beefy juggernaut, that small Wolverine jumping off the ledge in the Xavier Mansion. There were a lot of great details on this base, if I recall, too, like the carpeting and all the wood. It was a cool little dio that you don't really hear much of. All right, I mentioned them earlier. Let's talk about XM Studios. So their first attempt at a Wolverine statue was with the blue and yellow on top of the Sentinel head. And this was one of their first X-Men pieces, I believe. Always liked this piece, never owned it. Looking at the picture, it looks like it aged pretty well. I know there was an issue with one of the portraits with the teeth where the top tooth was in the center of his face. It was a relatively small piece, which it should be. I mean, it's Wolverine. But uh, the texturing looks good, the pose looks pretty good. I like the base and it would set off a sentinel trend that we still see going on to this day. And the one that I mentioned before, the Weapon X statue by XM Studios, the picture doesn't really do it justice on this one because they always experiment and do something new with almost every one of their pieces. And this one, they use a lot of translucent resin to replicate being wet on his skin. And I thought that was a really cool look. It's got a more elaborate base. It had screens everywhere. And if I recall, they might have even lit up. Wolverine, almost naked, busting out of his chamber from XM Studios. The next Wolverine piece they came out with was their brown suit Wolverine. This one had a ton of switch outs. He was on top of a building looking like feudal Japan. You had switch outs for metal claws, bone claws, and swords, which the sword switch out would totally change the pose of this one. I did own this one. It was a little bit overscaled, but it was still a great piece. And the last one, I don't think it's been released yet, but XM Studios with their uncanny X-Force Wolverine in the black and gray costume, pairing with their other X-Force pieces like Apocalypse, Cable, and Archangel, this one being the first licensed quarter scale uncanny X-Force Wolverine on the market. 
before we get into Sideshow, who has the most licensed quarter scale Wolverine statues, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, that Spider-Man booth. They have a monthly subscription box which guarantees you five comics, $100 retail value, which is store exclusives and ratios. Plus, it has two comics that are exclusive to this box. The 8 Billion Genies Issue 8 Virgin cover, limited to 500 copies, and Frank Miller's 300 issue number one reprinted with this exclusive variant cover only 1500 copies in existence and again you can only get those through this box check out that spider-man booth.com so you can sign up for that subscription box today all right guys so on to sideshow their first wolverine premium format this one was akin to their batman and their superman where it was fully sculpted but it had a fabric uniform this one always being called the pajama version which didn't really age well i've never owned this one i think i've seen it in a comic shop once or twice but it was never one that i really wanted to pick up it's more so collectors that were early on in the game owned this wolverine premium format Kind of like the next one, their Wolverine Comiquette. I have seen this one in person just one time. Pretty simple, it kind of falls short to today's standards. As you can see, the sculpt lacks texture. The base is pretty plain and simple. The pose is pretty good. That portrait ain't cutting it though, no pun intended. Wolverine Comiquette from Sideshow. The next Sideshow premium format is the brown suit, which I did own. I did like this piece, but it's another one that didn't really age well, lacked some texturing, especially on the arms, on the base, the snow wasn't really the best. I did like that it had the masked portrait and the unmasked, which I thought both looked great, and it was a nice piece for the time. I had to throw this one in this video because this is the piece that really got me addicted to statue collecting. Technically one fifth scale, Wolverine vs Hulk, the maquette, the diorama, recreating the scene from the Incredible Hulk 181 cover, which is Wolverine's first full appearance. The exclusive had the throwback portrait as well. Really love this piece. It's a shame that it didn't really pair well with quarter scale pieces, being that it's like I said, one fifth scale. And then we're on to the most recent premium format, the Wolverine Yellow and Blue from Sideshow. Great piece, has a sentinel hand base, although that sentinel hand is a little bit on the smaller side. Great texturing throughout the costume, great pose, great switch out for the exclusive as well. Overall, I think this is a solid quarter scale Wolverine, which will bring us on to their Logan premium format. Now this one did have mixed media elements as well. The jean pants were of a fabric material and the detail on this one is incredible. I believe this one was Daniel Bell. The musculature is crazy. The paint and texturing on the skin looks awesome. His expression is crazy. And the switch out had like a Terminator 2 style adamantium skull showing war wounds. Awesome piece. Which brings us to the most recent premium format, the brown suit sculpted by Martin Canali, made to pair with his saber tooth to give you kind of a battle diorama scene. Now this one had an exaggerated lunging pose that some people loved, some people hated. We actually gave away a brand new sealed one of these over on Whatnot last year when we did a t-shirt drop and we auctioned off my personal one earlier this year. If you guys are into statues, we are gonna be auctioning off our Silver Surfer maquette, the exclusive, this week on Whatnot and we're giving away the most recent Joker premium format later on in the month. Make sure to download Whatnot. I got the link in the description. Now, Martin Canali wasn't done with Wolverine just yet. They do have his Ronin piece coming out later this year, which we did see at San Diego Comic-Con. Looks great. Same kind of exaggerated Wolverine. So if you like the brown suit, you're going to love this one. Let's get into some larger scale stuff from Sideshow, their first Wolverine life-size bust, the Berserker bust, which I did pick up. I've reviewed this on the channel early on, and somebody commented that his teeth looked like Gary Busey, and I couldn't unsee it. This was a super lightweight bust. I don't really think it holds up. They did make a newer one with the brown suit costume. That one has a signature look. This whole line of life-size busts from Sideshow all have this kind of like gridded, exaggerated expression on their face with Hulk, with Wolverine, with Batman, and I never picked it up in person. I've always been tempted to and add it to the life-size bust that I have, but I've yet to pull the trigger on it. Which brings us to an old school sideshow piece, their Wolverine legendary scale statue, which is a half scale. 
I've always wanted to pick this up, but there's so many things that have prevented me from doing it. First of all, it's got a pajama costume as well. That whole costume is all fabric, and I don't really think it aged well. The feet did look super small on this, and there was a lot of leaning issues. There was a ton of issues with this piece, but I always wanted that half-scale Wolverine portrait to see how big it is compared to the quarter scales. I don't know. I always dug the size of this, but not so much the execution, which is going to bring us to the last one on the list. Now, you can pick this up from Sideshow, but it's technically produced by PCS, which is now Premium Collectible Studios. It's their one-third scale Wolverine. Now, this is technically from the Gamerverse, but looking at it, it can pass off as a comic book version of Wolverine any day. I've seen it in person. Eventually, I am gonna get this one into the collection, but for now, we'll just have to take a look at the pictures. What do you guys think about every Wolverine statue that's been released so far? Did I miss any? Comment your favorite ones down below, and thanks for watching. Stay minty fresh. Peace.